Hi, welcome back to Manny Ross and Cruz Off Road Garage. Today we have a little special video for you guys involving model trains again. I ordered something on eBay. If you follow my community feed, you would have already seen a sneak peek. Now, let me just turn the camera around here because I made a stupid decision and filmed from that side first. And there we are. There she is. I just gotta get it out of the box now. Careful. Can you hold the camera, Ma? Hold it like this. Don't don't turn it around. Okay. Put it like that. Just gonna put that down over there. Very much. I'm gonna puke. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. My mom is not feeling the best there. So yeah, this is a President's Choice branded Yard Bull Switcher locomotive. That's the name of the uh, class of locomotive right there, I'm pretty sure. I like the artwork. This has always been a beautiful box. I had it before when I was a child, but we lost it in a move. The only thing I was able to save was the loco, which you've probably seen in other videos of mine. It's just this one here is in mint condition, and that one there is total. Well, not technically total because it still works, but yeah. So on this side here, you can see it shows you the trains, the locomotive, the caboose. Hey, Ma. No, I, I'm not done. I just want to show you the trains. Look, see, you get five cars, a caboose, and a locomotive. That's in a lot better shape than the one I have. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open it up. That box. Yeah, you can have the eBay box. I want the train box. Let's see. I'm trying to remember how this opens. Go ahead, Ma. Relax. Like, go relax, you know. If you're not feeling well, you know, go, go lie down. I won't bug you. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out, but uh, it's been a few years. Let me see here. Maybe I'll open it from this side first. Maybe it's taped down. I think it is. Oh, I see. It just slides out the side here. Okay, here we go. Oop. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to flip it over. Okay. okay. It may be in brand new shape, but it's also an antique at this point. So you gotta be very careful opening. That's just the plastic casing, not the train, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. Wow, those cars are nice. I'll show you guys in a second. I'm just gonna slide the rest out here. Maybe it'd be safer to take it out this side. little cardboard locks to keep it closed on the side. I think whoever opened it from the other side originally opened it. Oh, there's locks there too. They're just kind of torn. Okay. This should be the rest of it. The tracks, the generator, and uh, a little bit of a history with it as well as a uh, thank you note apparently. Oh, this is the <laughs> it's the Loblaws, uh, um, uh, like warranty thing that came with it brand new back in the day. So it's like brand new, basically. All the um, rubber bands, you could see that they've been sitting for quite a while because, yeah, they just fell apart. <laughs> but luckily, that's just a rubber band, and I don't need that to work the train. <laughs> Everything else is good, from what I can tell. I just gotta pull that out there. A little bit of rubber band stuck between the tracks here. Okay, here's the generator. And uh, this is. What is this? Let's see here. Oh, it's the power unit, my bad. 
Okay, so. This is what we have. We have tracks, we have power unit, and we have the train itself. And here we have, I believe these are connectors. And I think little extra hooks and everything to come with it. Because I just thing did come with extras. I'm going to put the camera down just for a minute. I want to take the locomotive out. Very gently. Ooh. It appears we have some parts that may have fallen out during shipping. But I'll be very, very careful here. Try not to break anything else. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. Put that there. Let's see if I can get these parts back in. It's just the headlight and the bell, from what I can tell. The mess is just shaking loose is all. I don't know what that is, but I think I have an idea. There's also two pieces of black plastic. I have no idea what they are, but I think I have a close idea. I think that a little hook one's actually for you. Tend them together. Just stick that back in there real quickly. Okay, that's bad. Back in. I'm just wish you guys could see what I'm doing. See the little hook here came off on shipping. So I'm gonna put the little bell back in very carefully. And we're in. Now if I correct this little locking screw, yeah. Mm. Come on. It's very small and hard to get. Okay. There we go. Alright, it's in place. Alright, show off the little motor. Okay, this is the new one. This is Locomotive 8333, Canadian National. And I cannot wait to get it hooked up on the floor. So, we're going to try that in a minute. Alright, so, we have it set up here, just the locomotive for now, on a circle track. You see, you got a little straight tracks there in the middle. But now we just have it set up in a circle track. So, let's apply some power. Ooh. Hey, Ma! Ma, Oop, it, I think it, uh, oh, no, it's still going. Yeah, I just don't want to go too fast because it's just a circle and it seems to not like that corner, but yeah. I got to turn it the other way around to go the other way. <laughs> it's a one-way directional. What? Yes, Mom. That way. Look here. All right, let's try it again. There we go. Wow, is it ever smooth? It really doesn't like that corner. I'm gonna check that out. Oh, there was something on the track. There we go. I developed a tender horn. Okay. That one was my fault. Doo -doo. Mm -hmm. It's not rotating. Well, that's where I'm going to cut off the video, folks. I just wanted to show you guys my new set. 
Well, maybe, hold on. I'll put some cars on it first. And I'll end the video after that. These old President's Choice locomotives were very good for the, what they were at the time and the price they were. They're expensive to get now because they don't make them anymore. But, yeah. They were pretty good for, the, for their time, is what I'm saying. Alright, there's all five cars. And the caboose. The, what was that? Something fell off. I don't know what it was. Oh, I think it was that rubber band piece on the floor. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, there's a piece of rubber bands in there. Alright, now. The caboose itself is a little interesting. Because it says both Canadian National and PC. <laughs> I don't remember ever using this thing when I had the original layout. I'm pretty sure I just always ran it without a caboose. Alright, one car at a time here. Wow. Those things click like brand new. It must be brand new. Can't wait to get this part of the layout. I made a special part for it. Right. Okay, so we've hooked up all the cars here. And let's take a look. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen that. Oh, oh, we get out. I must have jumped off something about what that was. <laughs> must be another piece of Material stuck to the track somewhere. I don't know where though. Try going slower. You see, I can't go too too fast because I just have a circle set up right now. So I should pass through it. Well, that's all, folks. We're going to cut her off there. I don't have space to make this video. So, tell all your friends, like, subscribe, comment. Try model training for yourself. It is the best hobby in the world. I've always been interested in it. It's not just something that I've started in the last couple of years. I've been interested in model training since I was a wee little boy. Now, this here was, like I said, a set I already on. But since the set I had was destroyed in the move, or first time we moved, I mean, I waited for a long time to replace it. And I finally, finally have a, a replacement. So, like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, tell them what you're saying. Keep the negative stuff to yourself, and have a good day, and go out there and try, try something new for yourself. Go out and... Go off roading, go try model training, go for a bike ride in nature. Just do something, you know? Live your life while you still have it. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Peace out, and I'll see y'all in the next one.